What is up guys, Ace of Masses here, and today we're doing a video on the Lego brick heads. So, we've been working a while here trying to figure out a way to make the brick heads bobble, and we finally figured out a pretty good way that's relatively universal throughout the brick heads. Now, in this case we have Iron Man and Hulk, and you can see they, they bobble really well, you can just move them all over the place. Iron Man is a little more difficult because of the way his head's constructed, but it still works just as well. You can see, you know, we get all, all the bobble functions here. Um, in Iron Man's case, you can see the way I have it built, that his head naturally wants to look up, but that's not the case because, you know, on Hulk here, his, his head's just, you know, normal, just straight up. Just the way Iron Man is built here, that's just how it is. And then these are also articulated, so if you want to, you know, you can, you can move these to the side a little bit, so you can, you can fully just turn them like this, you know, you have, you have that option. If you want to look all the way to the side, you get full head articulation. Um, the way this is done, you're not going to be able to look all, all far that up. You can see you can look up, it's, it's possible, but it's not going to really stay all too well. But, it is an option, and then of course you can try to look down a little bit, which is a little bit harder, especially with Iron Man, because of the way he's built. You know, it's going to work a lot better on Hulk here. But let's go ahead and take a look at actually what we did here to get this to fully work. So the way we've done this, you can see that there's just this tube piece in the middle here, which connects to a stud piece with a hole in the middle, and then that 2x2 two two smaller round piece with an axle hole inside, which comes in every single brick head. The only pieces you're going to need to actually build this design is going to be the tube piece and the stud with the hole in it. However, if you, you don't absolutely need to use the stud with the hole in it, it just has a little more stability to it, so you can bobble it around without anything falling out. And then of course the way that these are attached is fairly simple. I'm showing Iron Man here as an example. The just piece that they use in every single brick head, they use this 2x2 two two round piece with the axle hole in the middle, and it's in the middle of every single brick head. So all you have to do is just connect this piece inside like that, and you have the fully working bobbling brick head, just it goes all over the place and it's just awesome. And then here you can see what it looks like from the underside. You can see that we do have some gaps in here. However, you know, you can cover it up. As you can see, I did cover it up a little bit with Iron Man so you could get the full, you know, look of the head that they had here in the brick head. However, Hulk is a little bit different just because the way he's designed. There wasn't really any pieces on the bottom, unlike Iron Man, so we left it open. You can also see that the way we have these ones currently designed, there is a gap here and you can see the studs. However, you can easily fix this by just adding a plate piece um, with just the color of your choice to match the design. But we just simply didn't have the correct colors to fully have it work out. So we just left it open like this. However, it's not that bad if you have it open. You can see it's relatively unnoticeable, especially if you look at it from the front and you have Hulk on the angle here. It's not that noticeable and it's just a nice thing. And we're just really happy just how it works out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very simple tutorial on how to just make brick heads bobble and move all over the place like a bobblehead. And this is something that would have been really cool to see in an actual Lego brick head itself. And it'd be nice to see if they would actually make more brick heads in the future that would have something similar to this, or at least some head articulation. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.